There's a snarky fat cunt who refused to help me when I needed him. There's a snarky fat cunt who refused to help me when I asked for help. Walmart, my friendly service. Now why in the fuck did I do that to that fucking fat cunt? I'll tell you why. I was in Walmart. This afternoon, earlier, I tried to talk to her about air hockey. If you ever play air hockey, she was uncomfortable. All that fucking pissed me off. But she was working there, so I couldn't say anything to her because I don't, don't want to get kicked out of the place. Well, later, I was looking for some uh, hip bonnet. I saw it on the commercial. The cream gets rid of pain, does not mess with your high blood pressure. Well, I went to the pharmacy, and the black woman told me it's on G13. Well, I was looking for it, but I cannot find it on the aisle because I, had, I, I don't have my glasses. And my vision is shit. Anyways, I saw her. I asked her, can you help me find the hand bomb? She's like, I don't work this section. Can you just, I, I told her, I don't have my glasses. Can you just look at the medicine and find the hip bomb for me? She was snarky. Oh, that fucking pissed me off. She was probably afraid I was going to ask her to measure arms. And the fair fact that she was afraid of that means she does not think I'm a good looking guy because if I was a good looking guy, she would not mind measuring arms. She would welcome measuring arms. So that fucking pissed me off. So I called her, I said, I said, fuck you, fatty. And I thought, okay, I, I took a risk. I, maybe she'll tell management and get me kicked out of the place. I didn't give a fuck. My honor was dishonored. I had to, I had, my sense of honor, my sense of honor was dishonored. And I'm angry. Well, I saw this fucking cunt. She made the mistake. She was getting on the floor, walking out of the door. So I grabbed my camera quickly so I could videotape her. And I swear by the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Jesus, and uh, not the Son of God if I do not become a hottie. Look in my 20s with the long forms. Let me say, that's where if I do not have this, that's where I invoke the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost of scriptures and of truth that Jesus is of the devil and not some God if I do not have this. Anyway, so I videotaped this bitch and I let her have it. And it felt so good getting my honor back. You no, know, I wish people like this would die. I was already pissed off because I was in the Walmart and there's some fat, I don't know if she was security or whatever, but she's like, you can't have me biking here. It's a, it, it's a trip hazard. I'm like, the other management says, that other people, other employees in management say I can lean it against the wall. She's like, you can't have to bike in here. And then I asked her, do you ever play air, air hockey? She's like, no. And you can tell she was what she was thinking bad thoughts about me so that's I hope I hope this bitch I hope this whoever this bitch was gets cancer and gets thin because she get, has done chemotherapy I curse this bitch I curse this cunt I curse her for not thinking I'm, I, I'm a good looking guy and treating me accordingly now if she did not think I was a good looking guy but let me measure her arms anyways I could deal with that Now invoke the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That Jesus is not the Son of God, but uh, is uh, a minute of the devil, Satan, Lucifer. If I did not become a good looking guy, hearty. God, bring it on. I'll pay any price, just as long as I'll be saved. And I swear for the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. For my 50 minutes, I do. I do. And now I'm willing to curse the Holy Ghost for this and suffer the consequences just as long as I get saved in the end to be a good looking guy. I have long forms and look in my 20s. Yeah. I hope all these girls who treat me, who get uncomfortable when I try to ask them to measure arms, I hope they get cancer. They have to get the tits cut off. Because they have insulted my sense of honor by telling me by the actions that I'm not a good looking guy. And all these tough guys who tell me to who are tough with me, I pray, I hope, I curse them. I pray they get cancer. 
testicular cancer and I have to get and have to suffer and miss it for the rest of their lives until they no longer are tougher than me. If I if I have to, to be said and if I have to just as long as I'll be safe in the end, I'm willing to sell my soul. I'm not saying I do it, but I'm willing to sell my soul. To be an alpha male, to be on the head, and not the tail, to be a hottie. First and foremost, to be a hottie for the long form, looking at my twenty, mistaken for a college kid. And uh, able to rap and sing and get the record deal and be a big shot. I'm willing to sell my soul for this. And this but it takes just as long as I get saved and uh, just as long as in the end through Jesus Christ I walk through those pearly gates and I have to suffer agonizingly get back to Jesus. Anything to be a good looking guy. See looking looking at me, looking at how old I look. You know, I'm trying to stop cursing God in the Holy Ghost, but looking at how I look right now, I, I just want it so badly. I, I feel a well of a well of rage and a, a well a welling up of rage and ill will and bitter anger coming up coming up. I have to stop myself right now from just unleashing the curses on God and flirting with committing the unpardoned sin by I, I have to resist, resist the urge to just go off cursing the Holy Ghost over and over again because I'm not a good looking guy and that, just as long as I'm a good looking guy as long as I have to fought long form and I'm a good looking guy I'm so happy I'm so happy I'm so goddamn happy if I'm not this I don't care if I have a billion dollars, I'm not happy. And fuck this and fuck that. And if I if I do don't get this, I wanna to say to God, fuck you too. Some bitch. But it felt so good cursing that this fat cunt. Because she was snorting to me because she did, she treated me like she I, she didn't think I was good looking. She was unfriendly to me. God I hate unfriendly people. I wish, I wish unfriendly people to me like that would be murdered by some serial killer. You don't understand the hatred I feel to someone who, when they dishonor my sense of honor, when they insult me, when they insult my looks, when they treat me less than like a king because of my looks. If I was, I wish I could send these type of people to burn and leg of fire if it if it took it so forever and ever until I changed my mind about how I looked. And I would go fuck out I'm wrong. If I'm not gonna really die, fuck God, fuck his breath, fuck him, fuck God. I don't give a fuck about what he wants. If he if I had to be a not a good guy, God can go fuck himself up the ass. <laughs> I was just trying to ask you the time, you fucking old bat. I do.